to find a way to recognize what's going well for us and continue to go there instead of we're just going to keep playing and keep playing and keep playing, which is fine, just with a little bit more intention. Um, Cause I don't ever doubt like that. We're playing hard. We're definitely always playing hard and just a little bit more intention. And Tierra had uh, like 12, I think in the first half, and then we didn't get to get to her again. Now, obviously LA adjusted their defense. They have great bigs. Um, but I still think we could have been a little bit more uh, yeah, intentional about going there. Um, and then I think, I think once we figured out that we can get on the attack and get downhill, it was a little bit too late, but um, really just putting it all together. We do some things well one night and then we don't do things well another night and then just we fix that and then we do something else not as well. So just kind of having that full focus. Are you concerned about the lack of consistency? No, I don't, I'm not like, I'm, I'm very positive about this team. Like this team is so talented and we can say that all day, every day, but I, I really still feel like we're going to get it right. Um, and being part of winning teams and knowing what it's like to win, you can click right at the right time and none of this matters, right? So you can talk about, oh, Dallas is inconsistent, Dallas is this, Dallas is that, but all it takes is this team to click at the right time and I wouldn't want to play us. Same record right now through 21 games this last season. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on this season versus last season? Um, it doesn't really matter last season. Like it already happened. It's nine and 12 and nine and 12 can be two completely different things or it can be the same thing, but it's still the past is the past. This doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? So present moment is all that we have. So we're nine and 12 right now. And it's more about how can we find ways to click at the right time? rather than, oh, well, we're back here just as we did last year. Well, last year we were in the playoffs against the winning team and we only lost by a few points and we were right there with a one game series. So even if we were in the last places last year, it's, it's a winnable series. So to me, it's more about just trying to click and find that chemistry where we feel like we can really compete and win games in playoffs. And uh, lastly, I know there's basketball left uh, before you guys take the All-Star break, but uh, any thoughts about what you're going to be doing during the All-Star break, how you want to get better, decompress, and how you want to go about that? Um, I think it ends up being, like, kind of a short break by the time you, like, sleep from the next game. It's the sixth, and then what are we at back in Seattle, the 10th? So that's going to go quick. Um, I think I'll probably prioritize sleeping and – um pointing out the things that help me bring the best that I can to this team and doing those a lot more often for the next five days. You mentioned you guys got away from game four the year in the mm -hmm. second half. What else did you guys sort of get away from? Um we ended with 19 assists. We had 14 in the first half. Uh so the ball got sticky. They turned up the pressure. We started dribbling way too much. Too much dribbling is not a recipe for success for us so um and then i i thought we took some threes that probably weren't the greatest myself included so all the questions in the room all right well marina's got some family to get to so that's all the time she has thanks, thanks y'all we're gonna be right back with coach vj thank you <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Um, yes. <laughs> same record at this point uh, last year, nine and twelve. Uh, what do you see in the, on the positive side of things compared to what you had last year? I think we still have an opportunity. I mean, to say that we have missed Satu for the last what two and a half weeks or whatever, and um, players came in late. Uh, Gray missed two games um, when I thought we were on the verge of turning the corner in a sense. And so now she has to work her way back in. So uh, is it where we wanna be? Of course not, um, but we still in position. We still hold our own destiny in a sense. Um, so I think that's the positive part of it. Also, I think we have opportunity to, uh, to see what we can be or what we can become. Uh, I thought the first half we played together we moved the basketball very well. Um, to end the, the half, we turned the ball over. They got out of the transition, made some easy baskets. And then the third quarter, we forgot how to pass the basketball. We had one assist. Uh, the first half, we had 14. Uh, third quarter, we had one assist. In the fourth quarter, we had four. We finished with 19. And then on top of that, Big T came in the first half, was dominant. Dominant and uh, she didn't take a shot the second half. Uh, KT as well didn't take a shot the second half. We settled for jump shots. And also, we have to make free throws. At the end of the day, we as many free throws as we take during practice, uh, after every drill, it's a matter, matter of a focus um, and a concentration when you step up to the free throw line. Um, there's no, there's no, uh, reason to be nervous. You professional athletes, this is what you do, you know, step up and, and make our free throws, and that's what we have to do. Coach, helping with the segue there, uh, you mentioned Big T, uh, 12 points in five for five in the first quarter. Um, you know, was it just the fact that you guys started settling for the jump shot and why yeah, you kind of went away from her, or did LA do anything at all to disrupt? It didn't really do anything different. It was, a, a, it was about us. You know, um, taking advantage of LA's weaknesses right now. At that time, they couldn't guard uh, Big T. Uh, they couldn't guard the elbow ISO. Uh, we went away from that. We did more drags, uh, pick and pop uh, type of stuff. Uh, we settled for jump shots. Instead of putting the ball on the block, um, they got us in foul trouble. We didn't take advantage of putting them, getting them in foul trouble. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing, right? And how do you readdress a message, you know, in the course of a game when you see how well your team does in the first quarter and then you don't see what you saw in the first and the second and the third? I mean, you just continue to to preach and hopefully it'll sink in, you know. Uh, it's, it's not that we don't know, because we know. It's just a matter of doing. Doing, you know what I'm saying? And... Uh, knowing if you do it, you may not get to score or you may not get the shot that you think you deserve, you know, but at the end of the day, we're winning. At the end of the day, we're winning. And, uh, and I think we have to sacrifice in that area a little bit more. Uh, winning over shots more than anything, or stats, whatever you want to call them. Back end was really 31 points in the second half, 15 straight to start the third quarter. What was different about their offense with that the last one? I think I think the biggest thing is our turnovers. I think they got out in transition a little bit more. I mean, NECA, I mean, if you want to talk about NECA and 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 Liz, that's kind of a waste. They're that good. Uh, they're all stars. Probably Hall of Famers, one at Stanford and one overseas. Liz has always been considered one of the best players in Europe. My concern is Katie Lou and Brown, 27 together. That shouldn't happen. And also their bench uh, scoring 17. That's 44 or that 90, 97. That's an issue more than Liz. And if we could have held Liz 
and, and uh, NECA to 21 apiece. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. I'm not satisfied with, with uh, Katie Lou and, and Brown and the bench scoring 44 together. That's just, that's unheard of. That's, that's, that's discipline and lack of respect uh, for players in our league. You have a uniform, you can play in this league and you can be very successful. Uh, Katie, Katie Lou, no disrespect to Katie Lou or Brown or anybody on their bench. Um, but we allowed them to get to their sweet spots. We didn't take it away from them. Katie Lou shot threes, Brown shot three for three, I think from the three, three for six uh, from the three. That's what she does. That's, that's, her, that's her bread and butter, knocking down threes. Now we got to make her do something different and we didn't do that tonight. How do you think Santu looked in her return? I thought she, I thought she looked good. Uh, I thought I ran her a little too long in the first half. Um, we was from uh, eight to ten minutes, I think. Um, so I kind of played eleven and a half, probably a little too long. Um, so, uh, but she looks good. You know, she's a she's a type of player that plays with a lot of, a lot of energy, uh, move well. I uh, can take, you know, take a four off the bounce, you know, knock down some shots. Uh, so I thought overall she looked well and the flow of the game was pretty good. But one thing I'm concerned about right now is our pace. Pace is too slow. And uh, we, can, <laughs> we we don't want to play in half court like that. We're, we're not built like that to play in half court like that. Um, we're bit, built to uh, to get out in transition. Uh, if it's a dead ball, we can put the ball on the, on the block or attack on the elbow or whatever. Um, but our pace is too slow. For L.A. to have a faster pace than us tonight, it's, it says a lot. You mentioned, oh, go ahead. You mentioned only you know, the one assist in the third quarter, five second half, third, 14 in the first half. Do you think there's a correlation between low assist numbers and high three-point attempts? For sure, mm, very much so. If we're not passing the ball in, we taking threes. That's just what it is that, I mean, that's the history of our team, you know, and we want to move the basketball, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's important for us as a team to understand the importance of moving the basketball, having three or four passes, you know, really sharing the basketball, making the defense move. Uh, and then attacking them, you know, the eight seconds left on the shot clock, you know, and, and then getting, getting to the free throw, free throw line and making free throws. Um, but definitely, we, we definitely take too many threes. Tonight, it didn't show because we only took 19 threes, okay? But before, we're, we're in there like 28, 30 threes, you know. Um, but I think we just try to slow it down. We just took a lot of quick shots in the third quarter, one pass shot. We can't do that. We just started out a little slow tonight. Uh, leaving the first half, she had three points. Ended uh, 23 points. So how do you get her going earlier in the game? It's just a matter of a mindset for her. You know, it's a, it's a focus on my side. I mean, she she's taking the same shots. You know, it's just a matter of getting in a rhythm. Uh, Playing in the rhythm, you know, you, you got to understand that Reek every night she's going to draw the best defenders, and a double team, and a trap, and all those things. So uh, it's it's more of a mindset how she's going to approach, you know, the LA or the Connecticut. It's not going to change, you know. So it's a matter of her being aggressive, uh, taking what the defense give her, and and uh, and feel confidence and, and feeling confident in her shots more than anything. There's nothing I can do. Like it's it's about her getting down the transition, attacking off the bounce, taking her time on her three, you know, getting to the free throw line in that way. Um, probably more being a, a assist, you know, creating for her teammates at the time, but Rick will be fine. She's, she's a scorer, she's a scorer. So it's just a matter of her with the mindset of being aggressive. All right, is that it in the room? Do we have any questions via Zoom? All right, well, thank you very much for joining us tonight, Coach. Guys, if you just give us a second, we'll be right back with Arike.
Enrique, can you describe you know what this team does? You know when it's when it's hot. You know playing its best basketball early in the game and how it kind of shifts away from the best thing it's doing as the game goes along. Uh. I think we just need to stay locked in. I mean, things are going to happen in the game, but we just got to be able to adjust to it and make make the right decisions. We haven't really been making the right decisions, especially in the third quarter, and that's what cost us. So, yeah. How do you make the adjustments in the course of a, a heated game like that when you realize you know, you're kind of settling for jump shots and going away from what we're working? Uh, I mean, we have to look to ourselves and our coaches, and we just all have to be on the same page. Were you not on the same page then? No, I didn't say that. We just have to be on the same page. You started out a little slow uh, in the first half. What was that? What was going on there? Double teams or were they shifting on you? What was kind of going on in that first half? Uh, no, I think I just missed a couple easy ones that I don't think I was attacking as much, but I don't think it had anything to do with the defense. Second half, uh, Matt Gunnelis had 31 of LA's 51 minutes. <clears throat> what changed for their offensive back you guys struggle to adjust to on defense? Well, I think Liz got a bunch of and ones kind of in a row, and she was just getting deep position. It's kind of hard to stop that when, you know, she's big. So getting deep position is tough. But, uh, yeah, I think it was just the position. And then they started flowing, getting those and ones, and then they were just hitting a lot. But, they, yeah, they definitely had a good second half for sure. Enrique, well, Marina said at any point you guys can click, get on the same page, and it's a whole different story. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I feel that way for sure. Like, <clears throat> there'll be spurts and then there won't be, but we just got to put it all together. But definitely we can we can turn it on and off like that. Enrique, we're about a month away from Kobe's documentary dropping. I just want to know what your uh, thoughts and perspectives would be moving forward. Uh, the same, you know, as when he was alive, he's one of the greatest to ever play the game. And I mean, his legacy lives on through, you know, everybody who idolized him, everybody who wears their number because of him, everybody who has a tattoo because of him, uh, his family. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to watch that. But obviously the, you know, the print he made on basketball, women's basketball too, and men's obviously is unexplainable. So, you know, I'm excited to watch that. Enrique, if the W gave you a call and asked you to participate in the three-point contest, would you? Uh, yeah. I mean, they they did ask me. Okay. Yeah. Right yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll see. I guess. <laughs> 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 Enrique, what do you think about the fact that you have any questions? Other questions for Enrique, guys? Yeah. Um, first half, Tira had twelve points, and then it just seemed like kind of went away from him. What was going on there? <clears throat> we definitely need to you know, get into that. Obviously, she had a great first half, and uh, I think just the flow of the game, we got out of that, but we have to make it a point. You know, if somebody obviously was dominant, I think she was like five for five in the first or half, we have to go back to her, so that's on us for sure. It started to get a little chippy there the second half. Was that something that kind of emboldened you, maybe the team, to say, you know, kind of a rallying, hey, let's go? Um, chippy like what? I mean, you know, just a little back and forth. Uh, uh, I didn't even really notice that. That's just basketball. That's going to happen regardless. I don't think that really affects much. Any more questions for Enrique, guys? All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight, Enrique. Uh, okay. All right. Thanks, Enrique. Thank you.